Hey, 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 y'all. Okay, it is me again, and today, I know my hair's looking crazy, ignore it, but today we are going to be doing a Chanel unboxing for a SLG item that I bought after this price increase. I know I'm crazy. Should have bought it before, but I didn't. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about how I feel about Chanel and these price increases. So, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tony Williams. This is Tony Williams Luxury, where I talk about all things luxury from um, the Ruta to the Tuta. From, and I am new to this luxury journey. Um, and I am what I like to call bougie frugal because I have the money to spend, but I don't have like an ex obs excessive amount of money. And we talk about my um, thoughts on luxury, things that I'm into. We do unboxings. And we kind of talk about my experiences and my thoughts in this luxury space. We cover high, we cover low, we cover medium, but mostly I tend to err on what most people would call high. So, which is in line with the Chanel purchase, but it might not be as extravagant as a lot of these other YouTubers and that's fine no matter where you are in this range, whether you're aspirational into luxury space or you've been here, join me on my journey. It's really bothering me with hair looks crazy, but I'm not re-recording. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, so here is my bag. I purchased it from my local boutique, um, and <sighs> I was trying to decide if... I wanted um, some fashion jewelry, I wanted um, a brooch, or if I wanted this SLG. I knew that it wasn't going to be anything crazy, even though I wanted that blue walk. But I just went on a trip, so I, I don't have funds like that. So, let's unbox it. I love keeping these ribbons. I want to turn, I saw somebody turn these into like scrunchies and headbands and stuff. And that's what I plan on doing. Keeping my flower. Okay, sorry. Um, I had to do some family things, but oh, my inside flower fell out. Okay, I keep the flowers. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but. This is, I've never bought an SLG um, from Chanel before. So this is my first Chanel SLG. Look at this. Nice little thing. Boom. So hot pink patent leather. And it's going to go with something that I bought from The Real Real. So you guys stay tuned for that. But um, I'm super excited because I was talking to some of my friends that love Chanel and they were saying to get this instead of the brooch and some of the other options that I was considering for around the same price. Um, so the price went up on this, like $100. But I am in love with hot pink right now. So I decided to go ahead and grab it. And it has like five different slots to put things. And... It's very slim and I feel like it's going to fit in a lot of my purses because I'm moving more towards smaller um, purses and just carrying the essentials. I know I'm so late to this, but I'm doing it now. So yeah, and this is from the, oh, this is blank. This is from the 23C. Oh, let's see if you guys. So this is from the 23C collection, um, and yeah, and this is rose. That's the color, and it's a boy Chanel card holder. Um, I used to want a boy bag. Maybe in the future I'll get a boy bag. Um, I think my friend actually has like one of these, and sometimes like my friends get bored and they sell their items, so maybe I'll grab one in the future. Who knows? But peel this off. Let's take these little cards out. So, 
does not pack it all the way through. It's like this little material. I am so excited. So excited. And it does have like the little Chanel thing right there. So, ah! My first Chanel purchase. Okay. So, now, let's talk about the Chanel price increases. Um, so, for me, it's like, oh, that sucks. One, I'm not really a huge Chanel girl. Um, I lean more towards bags, anyway. I lean more towards Hermes and, um, like, Louis Vuitton, or Louis Vuitton, however you say it. Um... And lately Dior, although I don't have any Dior bags as of yet, but anyway, I lean more towards those. So, um, really from Chanel, I've always only wanted like two bags, one bag for sure. And that was the Chanel reissue or the 2.55, uh, 227 of which I have. And I've always wanted a Chanel classic flap are um with the double cc's and that was more for clout because people recognize that and i don't always want all of my stuff to look like bam in your face but i figured i wanted that and i knew that i would want those and if i got those two bags i would want one in black and gold and i would want one in black and silver so um yeah, those were really the bottom line two bags that I wanted. And I can get both of those resale, especially the reissue. You can get it significantly discount because most people don't aren't as attracted to it. Although in boutique, the classic flat with the double CCs and the reissue are priced the same. Um, but the thing is, is the reissue isn't as in your face. So I don't think people want it because if you're going to spend that kind of coin, a lot of people want you to know that they spent that kind of coin. Um, or if there's going to be like a once in a lifetime purchase, go with something that is going to stand out, right? So, um, those were like the two that I wanted, but I knew if I could only have one of those two, it would be the reissue and the next would be the backup. And I wanted the jumbo in both of those because I figured I want the most bang for my buck because Chanel doesn't hold much, which is part of my problem with Chanel and their bags. They don't hold as much. So right now with the price increase, Chanel has gone from like $5,000 uh, for a bag to $10,000 for just the basic medium bag, which doesn't really hold much from all the reviews I've watched and all the things that my friends say. They always say, and they have tons of Chanel, is to go for like the jumbo because you can get more in it. Um, it might not look as small and petite, but you can get more in it and it's more bang for your buck. And even then, my reissue 227 only holds about the same amount as like my hold me bag or my Alma BB. You know what I mean? Maybe a little bit more than an Alma BB, but not much more. You know what I mean? So it just didn't seem um, bougie, frugal friendly for me. You know what I mean? Because I don't just have money like that. And I feel like luxury items can be a novelty, but Chanel bags, especially classic flaps and stuff like that, are definitely a novelty, especially for the double flaps because the double flap take up space. So I think the price increase is perfectly fine in line with where Chanel wants to go. However, I don't like Chanel to that extent to spend that amount of money. However, Cassie Thorpe um, actually talked about it in one of her videos that it's funny how we all have our limits for brands because I wouldn't spend that for Chanel, but I would 110% spend that for Hermes. And it's just because I like Hermes and I prefer Hermes, you know what I mean? So, um, I think it all depends on what you like and what you're into. So, um, yeah, they are a little crazy though for what they're asking. So for bags wise, Chanel is not for me. I do love their shoes and I do love their fashion jewelry, um, because it's like gaudy and in your face and I love it. Um, and it's not to say that I won't buy any Chanel because I 110% will be buying Chanel. Maybe not the bags like that, but there are a couple bags that I still want eventually, but they're nowhere high in priority. And that would include like the Coco Handle Small, the um, and the Chanel 19. 
Um, and I'm also interested in, I want those in like bright colors, um, bright fun colors. And um, I think those are the main two bags, but I would also kind of like a denim Chanel something. And I would like a walk. And I know most people start with the walk and I did it, but the walk, the denim are at the end, but order of priority is the cocoa handle, small, medium. Then I would do the Chanel 19, like small, medium. And then I would also do um, the denim cocoa something. Um, and lastly, I would do like a boy bag or something like that. So, but as far as like shoes, love them. They're getting a little crazy, but I can't stay away. Um, fashion jewelry, I don't have any yet, but I feel like I need them to complete the look. Um, I also really do like their cashmere scarves and how they look. And I do want a pair of Chanel, like just the cotton gloves and the stuff that like the headbands and stuff. I don't know why it just seems like quintessential Chanel and bougie. Oh, and I 100% would want a Chanel jacket, especially a Chanel tweed jacket. Um, and I am on the lookout for this sweater that I saw last year. It's like a pullover. So, yeah, those are the things I would spend my money for on Chanel. Unfortunately, like the classic flaps and things that aren't seasonal bags aren't it. And I have no desire to collect Chanel. Um, but I'm not saying that the price is ridiculous. I'm saying the price is not worth it for me. Because I would definitely still spend those prices elsewhere like Hermes or on LB ready to wear or Hermes ready to wear or any ready to wear, which is ridiculous because it's not a bag. You know what I mean? So to each their own. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you guys are going to continue to keep shopping Chanel, even though they are like doubling their prices in like three years, two, three years. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and to share this video with your mama and them. All my other socials are linked in the comment section below and I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. Um, oh, and I'm going to try to post at least twice a week every Wednesday and Saturday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All else fails, I'm going to always try and shoot for at least Wednesday. Okay guys, until next time. Tis.